DM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all! Wow your friend! Alright friends and crafters, welcome back for more Tilescapes. Today we're going to make s'mores. Oh no, wait a minute. No we're not. We're going to make pillars. Uh, I found these interesting, uh, this interesting material and we're going to make pillars out of these. So let's go to the table. I'll show you what the heck it is. Not a marshmallow. <laughs> I'll show you what the heck it is, and we'll start making those easy to make, uh, really cool pillars. All right, friends, to start the project, I'm going to use these doll bases, and uh, they're kind of wooden stands. I got those at the craft store. And this mystery material are these foam shaped cylinders, and these are going to be perfect for pillars. I really love these. Okay, so here's what we're going to use we're going to use our washer, uh, it'll be on the bottom, and then we'll use the two uh, wooden pieces and three of the foam pieces, and this will make a pillar for us. So we're going to use our goop to put all this together. I like goop. It's a really strong glue. So I'll just glue the bottom of the uh, pillar there, put it on the base. And that washer will give it a nice weight on the bottom so it won't tip over as easily, right? So I'll just start gluing these uh, cylindrical shapes together, make our pillar. And I like it how it's already, the, the shapes are already divided, so it really gives a nice uh, look to that pillar like it's been constructed. So what a great pillar. Just so easy to make and just, bam, cheap. Now the really cool thing about these foam shapes is this part. Okay, I'm going to use a, some pliers and start ripping these apart. But you can make pieces of the pillars that are like chunks that have, the pillars have fallen over and are rubble and that kind of thing. And that's what's so cool about these chunks is you can rip out these pieces and uh, make them look damaged, right? It's so easy to do. So with this one I'll just cut it in half with the scissors and then just start pulling chunks off uh, with the pliers. Uh, to get that damaged look, so it looks like it's uh, sheared in half when it hit the heavy, you know, hit a heavy uh, surface. So yeah, this is this is a really cool uh, thing about these uh, these foam shapes. I just really like this. You can tell I'm a little excited about that. <laughs> okay, so I'll just add some cracks with the ballpoint pen. <clears throat> so yeah, these are gonna be great uh, damaged pillars. Now to make the damaged pillar, I'm just gonna hot glue the base to uh, some thin cardboard and use my chunks that I made and just start hot gluing them to the uh, the base there near where the base is like the pillars fallen over and shattered so very cool Get a nice pattern there and then I broke one of the bases in half so I'm going to use it to as the broken piece and I'll just trace around it Get a little bit of a little extra room there for rubble and then just cut it out and we'll move to the next step uh, you know I like to add a little bit of hot glue to the base just to give a little bit of texture and also a little bit of strength is nice so let's go around add a little bit of texture on there and uh, then to uh, hide the corrugation I'm just going to run it I'm going to ring it ring the uh, hot glue around the edge and that'll hide that corrugation from uh, any uh, people who are looking for corrugation <laughs> the corrugation police can't have them finding your corrugation on your on your terrain all right cool now we're going to start adding rubble to this and my uh, white glue technique I'm just going to start uh, picking out areas on the pillar that I want to put the rubble. I'm not going to cover the whole thing with glue. You don't want to do that. That kind of defeats the purpose. You just want areas where the uh, smaller aggregates kind of shattered and tumbled from the smashed pillar, the smashed ruin. So I'll just start adding the sand. Uh, construction sand, it's uh, actually called uh, standard sand if you go to the store and buy this. It's got just different size aggregate. And I'm going to use these stones I got uh, at Ikea. You could get these stones anywhere. You can go out in your yard and get them or, you know, wherever. Uh, or fish tank stones, but I just had these. So I'm going to use these. And I'm going to add some, just some piles of these uh, on this. Now, when we apply these stones, um, it, it looked like a lot of stones, but we're not going to, it's just going to dry. A few of them are just going to dry in those glue piles, so it's not going to be all these stones on it. But we'll let that dry up. Now I'm going to paint the pillar up with my uh, uh, patented sponge technique and just uh, make it look like stone. Just so easy to do. And I'm not going to paint the uh, rubble pillar, but I will show you in the final piece of the video 
what it looks like so stay tuned for that and then you know I like to add a few other colors in there so it looks more like stone not just gray because uh, stone generally has some other colors in it <coughs> and then I got a little bit too much coffee on there so I'm gonna add some more gray over that here we go we'll let that dry up cool now I got my uh, light gray and I'll start doing highlights on there you want to do the edges uh, nice to do the edges where the uh, the uh, pillar pieces meet so you kind of get like a highlight on the edge there all right cool looking good so we'll hit the table uh, look at some different pillars look at the rubble pillars and uh, check them out as our heroes enter the cursed place they smell the hellfire of the demon the gate slams down behind them they desperately play a game of cat and mouse with the demon trying to look for some advantage to send this hell spawn back to the pit Roderick notices a weakness in one of the pillars. The entire party throws their weight into toppling this pillar on the hell spawn. They groan and strain and suddenly hear a satisfying crack as the pillar topples and smashes into the demon, sending it back to the pit. So, hey guys, here's our scene. Let's take a look at the, the pillars. Uh, we'll uh, turn this around a bit and then grab our smash pillar. I really like the effect uh, of those broken pieces. Uh, just ripping those up really an easy nice effect you can do uh, to make smashed pillars and we'll take a look at the regular pillar i really like the three sections of these really gives a nice detail and those doll bases for the caps really nice and the uh, washer gives it some nice weight on the bottom so that's really cool there we go there's some uh, easy and uh, fun pillars you can do for your tilescapes and i'll see you next time with more tilescapes Hello there friend, make sure to give your DM Scotty a like if you do like the video. Also check out the Facebook group and forum, they are lots of nice people there. Give your DM Scotty a dollar to buy a coffee so he can keep making videos at a hyper speed. Also if you like to like the Scotty, then join the Patreon and you get Crafters Lair. It has extra content for you and you can be happy for the rest of your life watching Crafters Lair and have fun. Mmm yeah, Roderick ready for his pillar of s'mores, yeah! Um, uh, sorry, Roderick. I just was saying that the pillar's l material looks like marshmallows, not really s'mores. What, well, Scotty? You're such a liar. I hate you. I hate you.